There's nothing better than finding out something that nobody's discovered before. It's a thrilling industry to work in. If you work hard, and uh, you, you, are, you can be guaranteed a job and a long, lifelong career. I'm one of the lucky few that looks forward to coming to work. The process industries in this region are world leaders in chemical using companies. That can be anything from renewables, bioenergy, drug development companies, uh, chemical processing. So quite a wide business stock and a wide number of opportunities and job opportunities for people in global cutting edge technology. So right across the sector, jobs are growing. My name is Robert Smythe, I'm Project Liaison Officer here at SCM Pharma. I'm 19 years old and I'm currently studying at Northumbria University and I'm actually studying here on a two-year placement. SCM Pharma specialises in novel, difficult and dangerous drug manufacturing. All of our chemicals are manufactured in clean rooms. It's my job to make sure that project timelines are met, that everything that was required for that project has been ordered, clients are updated, everything that they're basically required to do the work. You're working on a project from the start, developing that drug, and you're there to the end when it's actually been administered and could possibly save someone's life. More and more we're developing partnerships with the universities. Sunderland, for instance, is very strong in terms of its pharmacy and its applied chemistry, so we're building relationships. We feed off of each other in terms of their educational programmes and in terms of our development as a business. My name is Dr Lee Williams, I'm Senior Lecturer of Analytical Chemistry at the University of Sunderland and this is the Analytical Chemistry Lab. I'm from Sunderland, um, born and bred. I've, how, all my education has been in Sunderland, um, my further education has been in Sunderland, so that I knew that the skills I had and the education I had would allow me to work in lots of different industries which are prevalent in the North East. Normally our graduates um, for the sciences degrees have a 97% employment record. Students actually tend to have firm job offers before they graduate because they know the quality of the student they're getting and the technical and knowledge basis that they have, they can go straight into a number of different industries. My name's Anna Connolly, I'm 26 and I work for Procter & Gamble. We're a consumer goods com company that's bold and aerial and fairy auto dish. And globally we have a, like a range of products from Gillette razors to hair care and oil of oil, things like that. I'm a senior researcher, I work in the process department, so we basically get a load of a list of chemicals and from that we have to make the granule that you see in your laundry detergent box. I get samples of granules and I have to analyse them, for, usually for physical character, so what the physical character of the product is. I'm also at my computer quite a bit, just analysing the data. I travel all over the world, so recently in the past year I've been to, I went to the US for quite a bit last year, and Spain, I went to Cairo in a couple of weeks, so I do get to travel to a lot of places. I'll jot some notes down as we're going through. Feel free just to and then also you can work with the consumer. What you're actually doing is going to consumers and asking them what they want, what they need from their product. And then you have to take that data back and analyse it and turn it into a science concept. That would interest you. I think at A level I knew that science was my path. I was encouraged to carry on the chemistry side by one of my teachers. And then along with the chemistry I decided to do biology. Then I did environmental science as well. And then when I was going on to my degree, I did forensic science. Um, and then in my third year, I came and did an internship at Procter & Gamble. My name's Jordan Ferrell, I'm 20 years old, and I'm a production technician at Semcorp Utilities, which is based in Teesside. We use raw fuels such as wood and coal to turn into electricity and steam, uh, generating power. School, I wasn't too interested in going straight to college and university, so I decided on an apprenticeship and I'm out of my time now, so full-time job out of it. I've actually done my HNC and I started a degree in chemical engineering, so you can, if, if you still want to do all the academic side of things, you can do as much as you want and uh, the companies are very, very supportive of that. S science and maths, I remember in school I always thought were the, were the difficult subjects and I was thinking, I'll never use this, it's maths especially, this is not this is no use to me, it's, it's not true. Math, maths especially and, and science are the, are the subjects that you'll use through your life, I've found it, no matter what you do, and you'll always need them. Uh, especially coming into an industry like this, 
if you have a good understanding of science and maths, you can go very, very far and you can go anywhere you like and it'll, it, it, it really can take you places, just that understanding. I couldn't do my job now without that fundamental understanding of math and science that I got at school. I think it's one of the best decisions I've ever made. There's definitely good opportunities in science that allow you to grow as a person.